Welcome to Modern Church Leader, a short daily show to help you grow your church, be more effective and efficient, and powerful for the kingdom of God. Uh, hey guys, Frank Berry here, uh, COO and founding team member at Tithely. And uh, it's great to be with you today. Um, just to give you a little bit of info about me and kind of who I am and my history, uh, I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I was born in 1978 and I uh, grew up with a single mom, a half sister, three half brothers. Um, my mom was amazing. Uh, she raised us uh, to be hopefully great human beings. But, you know, again, grew up as a single mom. I didn't grow up going to church. Uh, I would go a little bit with my dad when I would visit him. And uh, so I had a little exposure to church and Jesus and things like that. But it wasn't part of my life. Like I didn't grow up a Christian. I didn't grow up in a family that was uh, using the scripture or teaching God's word or anything like that. Uh, it it kind of happened fast forwarding all the way into college, my junior year of college. Uh, I actually moved to San Diego. So I was spent a little time in Palm Desert, moved out to San Diego, California to go to San Diego State University. Um, at the time, moved out here with my girlfriend. Uh, we were dating. We moved into the dorms. She grew up going to church and moved right next to some uh, some girls in the dorms uh, that invited her to church. So she was looking for a church, wanted to uh, be connected when she moved out there. And, uh, you know, since we were dating, she very quickly dragged me along. And uh, I still remember my first church service uh, at the church I still attend today. Uh, just super warm, tons of people saying hi, giving hugs, um, lots of college kids. There's a very, very big college ministry. Uh, and over the course of a few months of, you know, studying the Bible, going to church, being in fellowship with other Christians, people loving up on me, you know, I decided like, hey, I need to, I need to follow Jesus and made the decision then. Uh, that one was back in March of uh, 1999. And uh, my, my girlfriend at the time actually also made the decision. Uh, we, we broke up for a time and just needed to get our lives right with God. And uh, that was kind of the start. So, you know, fast forward uh, a few years in college, I was really inspired in the, in the college ministry and said, and I'd really love to go into full-time ministry after college. Uh, got my computer science degree, said, hey, I want to go into ministry. And, um, you know, luckily that all worked out. And I started serving as a full-time youth minister, as many do. Uh, and I did that for about five years. And uh, it was great. Me and my wife did it together. Uh, I, I worked full-time for the church. She worked a secular job. Uh, and, you know, after about five years, for, for us as a family, full-time ministry wasn't the right fit anymore. So... I went and took my kind of tech background and started working for a company in the nonprofit space. So it was a tech company uh, that made technology for nonprofits. So I worked with uh, Charles Stanley Ministries, In Touch Ministries, uh, the Methodist Church, uh, Peacemaker Ministries, a bunch of you know Christian ministries and, and church organizations uh, for a long time. And I spent about 12 years, 13 years at that company. Uh, and that kind of led into just a passion for technology, serving the church, um, serving ministries. And, uh, and that's kind of how I got, you know, connected with uh, Dean Barn, his son, uh, Steve, another one of our founding team members. And, uh, and then really where Tidely kind of came out of, right, what for me was just this passion for serving uh, churches and ministries with technology um, and just being like, that was a, that was just something for me that my life and my work and everything kind of circled around. And so after, you know, working professionally for 12, 13 years, kind of after college, uh, you know, Tidely was just the thing. So um, now that's just spun off into us, you know, launching Tidely and serving about 10, 11,000 churches and just being able to every day dream up like, what are we going to do next? How are we going to build the next tool, add the next feature, serve the next church, go into a new country? Um, how are we going to grow the team and add people who are passionate about serving churches um, with tech uh, like we were when we kind of got things kicked off? So it's been a great journey. Um, I think, uh, you know, for me, thinking about it as a ministry versus a, a career or uh, a job is, is interesting because I guess it is a ministry on one hand, but I, I don't necessarily view it that way. I, it's kind of a hard connection. I, I love what we do at Tidely, I do think we're serving churches in a great way by offering fantastic products, products that you'd get in the for-profit world um, that churches or nonprofits don't have access to uh, and giving them those level of tools, uh, giving it to them at a price point that like nobody can beat, 
making it super affordable so that the church plant can have amazing tech uh, without paying crazy, crazy prices or using subpar solutions and things like that. So, uh, you know, I guess it is a ministry in a, in a lot of ways. And we've got a lot of friends and and just great people working at Tidely over the years that's made this, uh, it's made it a big family, big home. From the very beginning, Tidely has been uh, created in a really relational way, right? So Dean, his son, Barn, myself, Steve, when the four of us all came together, like we were, we were bonded, like we we're gonna go do this thing together. And our relationship has obviously grown closer and closer over the years. Um, we enjoy working with each other. We see each other, all, even though we're all in different places um, geographically, uh, we love hanging out with each other. And then when it came to hiring new people working at Tithely, it was, it was a relational thing, right? We wanted people that we could trust, that we respected, that were passionate about the church, um, that loved technology and loved sort of the remote nature and the startup nature uh, of what Tidely is uh, or was at the time. Um, so I think that's just attracted certain kinds of people. I think it's attracted people that love God, love the church first and foremost. I think it's attracted people that like technology. They, they wanna be in technology some way. Um, I think it's attracted people that are, uh, you know, interested in the startup world and and just kind of the gro fast paced growing interesting always moving uh nature of what that is um and when i say startup you know we're four or five years in so we're a little less startup today than we were back then but from the beginning it's just attracted those kind of people and so every hire has been you know massive amounts of trust lots of respect um and they bring their local uh or their their own passion for the local church and the church that they serve themselves in into the company. So they just, we don't have to create that. Like God created that, right? He's the one that created passion for his church and people get to go bring their passion for the church into their work. And they're, they're just like, this is amazing. How do I, how do I explain this kind of job? I mean, there's so many stories of people going, my friends asking me about what I do and where I work and what it's like. And I try to describe it to them and their minds are just blown that I can work remote, I can be anywhere I want. I get to work with a bunch of great people, lots of them friends, uh, some of them family members. I get to serve churches and talk to pastors. I mean, our sales team is like, I get to talk to 20, 30, 40, 50 pastors a day. And it's just, it's a killer sales job or customer support job or customer success job. So um, yeah, I just think we've attracted people and talent that loves the church, loves tech, and loves the family nature of our company. Thanks for listening. Please review Modern Church Leader on Apple Podcasts and visit our website for more resources at tithe.ly or follow the links in the show notes.